Hi, my name is Ian with PA Industries and today I'm going to talk about how to adjust your feeder for your material thickness. It is important to ensure that the feeder is set properly to the material thickness. If the adjustment is too loose, the material may slip during the feeding process causing the material feed to come up short. And if the adjustment is too tight, it could compromise the use of the pilot release. To avoid these issues, the material thickness adjustment should be set properly. And it is important to remember that every time a material with a new thickness is run through the feeder, the thickness adjustment should be recalibrated. On your feeder, there are two levers. They can either be on the left side or the right side, depending on what direction you specify for your feeder right to left or left to right. Either way, the process is the same. The handle closer to the front of the feeder is what is used to make the adjustment. When adjusting for material thickness, loosen the lever using the orange handle. Once the lever is loosened, it can be lifted and the material can be fed into the feeder. Move the lever down until it makes contact with the material. Pull the front lever down slightly more until there is about an eighth inch to a quarter inch of play in the pilot release mechanism. At this point, the orange handle can be used to tighten the front handle once more. For as long as this material is run, there is no need to loosen the front handle again. Now that the thickness adjustment has been set, the back handle can be used to raise the top roller off of the material to allow manually feeding and removing the material. Doing so will leave the thickness adjustment where you set it. However, once again, if the material is ever changed and a new thickness is introduced, this process should be done again. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any more questions on how to adjust your feeder for material thickness, you can call the number on screen here. Thank you and goodbye.